this another episode of the Magic Sponge. Unfortunately, the final episode in the series. But uh, don't worry, me and Ian, you're right, Ian. Yeah, I'm all right. We've got a brilliant guest. Yeah. Oh God, I know. With this, you've been one of the most in-demand guests. I'd say you and Jamie and are the yeah. two most in-demand. Jamie and, and. and you just pip him. Jamie and I'm not Jamie and. Me and him are together. Like no. yes, we yeah. used to bother about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is nuts. He's he's married. Married. Yeah, what a great lad. I know, exactly. So he had him on, and it was a little bit more like a sit down for serial killer. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. I don't know intense. where he's gone since I last seen him. I, I, I don't him. know, Broad. Yeah. <laughs> Broad. Broad. Yeah. <laughs> but that voice you can hear yeah. is the one and only David Bentley. David yeah. Bentley, thank you for coming on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Jimmy Bullard helped us get you on. I know. He's a pal of yours. Lord but... Logan, isn't he? Yeah. Garland Pimper now, you can't put me down. Where is he? You can never no, find him. He's a mystery. <laughs> Bentley the businessman. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But yeah, he ain't here. No. He's, oh, he's, no. What's he doing? He's well, in. He's, he's been in one episode. He's this, a socialite now, and he's celebrity he's life. Big, you know, yeah. you've got to allow for it. He's at the NTA. He's about and Dex. It's showbiz. <laughs> Showbiz Bullard, you ain't got time for us anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> in our little what little yeah, basement in East London. Yeah. What what's his excuse this week? He was doing, you know, the drill, and I know yeah. what he was Fishing. doing because I know Lloyd and I know the soccer oh, yeah. He was doing, you know, the drill in Cobham at yeah. Chelsea, yeah. which was in the morning. It's five to five. Yes. He could get it. He it's ain't doing car. drills in the dark, is he? Have you ever seen him film that in the dark? He's in the boozer. So <laughs> we don't know where he is, but never mind. We've got you in a uh, uh, Bentley. Can we call you Bentley? Bent, you David? Call, yeah, Bent, Bentley. Bent. David, no. Dave, Dave, not David. David. Mummy calls me David. Sir. <laughs> Sir, David. Sir David. David. Yes, Sir, Sir, Sir David. David. Sir and um, you've, uh, you've well, go for your clubs quickly. Arsenal, Norwich, Blackburn, Birmingham, West Ham, FC Rostov yes. and Spurs. Rostov, go on. How's Rostov? <laughs> it, was all, it was lively, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a duck and dive around there, haven't you? Um, what are you up to these days? I know your business, is it? Yeah, just sort of heavily involved with business, yeah. Time-consuming. Yeah, on the phone, new Anna emails, Sugar. all that. Yeah, Anna Sugar's You're on the phone, phone email. Oh, he's got a page oh, on there. Don't worry. He's, he's got a don't phone machine. Don't let machine. it look. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, he's don't let it throw you off. scanning yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, any, anyone, what, Bentley and Bentley and Howe, GFF, Florin. Yeah, Florin's coming into uh, Stan's so Stage. Let's go, we let's, just, let's we just go through your company. Right, you do, you own international bar management. You own bars all around the world. Bars, restaurants, nightclubs, beach clubs. Um, flooring, accountancy. And, and you do flooring. Accountancy. Make Grim Rod accountancy. If you want your accounts doing, I don't know your if account. I trust you, my Mate, I'll tell me what I'm good at them. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd trust you of a night out. <laughs> oh, night out. And maybe good. a bit of flooring. I sort of cover every base, don't I? What <laughs> yeah. I try to do is put my fingers in loads of little pies. <laughs> How did and the accountancy come up? It was a family member of mine that wanted to me to invest. Oh, so it's a bit more you're like a backseat investor yeah, of it rather yeah, than yeah. your. I'm not doing You're not doing the account. Don't worry. You ain't doing All the numbers. Clients, 160 clients are panicking there that I'm yeah. doing them. <laughs> No, so you ain't doing the numbers, but no. you're putting a bit yeah. of money into well, the company. Well, I'll sort out how much we charge them and that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. All right, well... <laughs> Do you reckon, uh, I think we should, we'd have to go over to Spain. To, is it all in Spain? Oh, you're, you're more, yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah let's I've just got back. I don't know if you I think, because it's weird, because I don't think you're the kind of clientele. I'm sort of one foot in each camp. I'm from South East London. I've got a yeah. lot of mates that go out and get tables and buy oh, big bottles. I, 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 I don't really that. do that, but you, you're tight. I'm, I don't think you'd like it then. Oh, I've the never north, been on the lads all day. Okay, so, Ben, can and you explain to so Ian what happens with the whole you buy a table and buy a drinks and how it all works? Yeah, so you, you can buy a table and then for... What do you mean buy a table? Well, we've got a table in there for a... Well, like a furniture. Saturday night for about, yeah, you can have it for 10 grand with a jacuzzi at the back and all that, yeah. So, so, so basically. Oh, I thought he meant. I won't do that. No, you know, I won't do that. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm in the pub down the road. I'm doing the numbers out the back. <laughs> <laughs> so you buy your table, then what if you don't have any money left for drinks? You just sit at the. Yeah, what do, you get, just, what do you get for that 10 grand? You get the jacuzzi, the table, you get the jacuzzi, drinks. yeah. Do you get any drinks for that? For a week? Yeah, yeah, you get the buzz. No, for the night and all that. For the night? It's the night. Just for the night, just for three hours until you get thrown out. Never been <laughs> sick on the jacuzzi. Um, we should talk about some of the stories that have been covered on here about you. So right. if you can confirm it or not, you yeah, got any? Ian, we sh- have you got a rundown of the well, stories? The, the fir- the fir- I think this is the first story that Jimmy ever told cool. us was about um, the Postman Pack competition. Oh yeah, um, it was enjoyable. That. Yeah. yeah. So what? So it was supposed to be like gradually getting louder. So this well, is Fabio Capello, the yeah. like Postman Pat, and between the two <laughs> of you, Fabio. basically you had, to say, Fab, you had to say Postman Pat. Yeah, you had to say it. Yeah. So the whole trip. So we went on a few, and then we, first time it's England like Postman Pat, doesn't it? And I says, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Yeah. Right. And then it leads on, doesn't yeah. it? Right. Yeah. Every time, because he couldn't speak English, could it? <laughs> 
I used to have full conversation. How did he tell you what to do? I just used to talk gibberish to him. And every oh, time, well, and going, oh, Fabio, you're Postman so, Pat. Sweet, can we feel like being Postman Pat? Really? Know? And like, he wouldn't know. He didn't so if I, so I, so I pretend to be Fabio Capello, yeah. like, uh, uh, David. Uh, David, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd uh, go, well, yeah, yeah, you're all right, Postman Pat. You're all right. Uh, yeah, How's your cat? Uh, yeah, uh, and then uh, I'd have Jimmy behind me. How's your cat? And then I was. And he'd be like, he couldn't he couldn't speak English. So he'd have his, <laughs> Can he tell you taking had was the piss? He had piss, to translate with him, who was <sighs> understanding, <laughs> was understanding, but didn't want to. Because didn't want to say. Yeah. He has to be in the middle <laughs> yeah, of the round. Yeah. He's like, what do I say? Yeah. yeah. So we used to, uh, yeah, share, uh, you know, team meetings at the Postman Pat. You're, right. you know, if you walked in, yeah. Postman Pat. <laughs> Did all the other players? And all the players were clocking on. Yeah. Oh. But it creates that created a bit of a. You know, like a bit of an atmosphere, and everyone loved it. And but was everyone the... joining in on that? Because I can't imagine yeah, someone they like they were James it. Milner. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Is he he's, he's not shouting out yeah, yeah, Well, I, I mean, I've known James for a long time. He's, he's about fifteen, but yeah, he can. I suppose he likes drinking water, doesn't he? I think there's a story. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. No, but he, Just like, he likes the taste I, of his own mouth. Yeah, that's it. I think when he, the club said to him, "You got to stop drinking water." You know, like normally, you've got to, you've got to stop, stop drinking water. Yeah, you've got to stop drinking water and a beer. You know, they, they tell <laughs> you. drink too much yeah, water. You mix it, you've got to mix it up a little so bit. You can't just have a bit of sugar in the sun. Two sugars in your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, med- it was, he was medically having too much water. Medically, you can t- have too much water. So he was having too But you much- can have too much water. Can't, you can drown yourself, can't you? But yeah, he was yeah. too pure. You have to have too a bit of rough in there. You have to be a bit of rough. Is it true? Is this a physio? Is it just a finger up your bum? Stick a finger up your bum. You're too boring. You can Don't have, worry about it. You can keep yeah. drinking the water if you stick a finger up your bum. It's all this straight and narrow thinking, isn't it? And I think football's. Football now is a James Milner culture. It's all of it. It is quite. Yeah. Fun. I think that you fell out of love with it a little bit. I don't want to say it because James Milner, what a great professional. He's oh, done he's a great yeah, yeah. and that's the way he wants to live Big his life. He probably players. looks at me and thinks like, <laughs> what's, what, what, yeah. what's going on? <laughs> yeah, but you, but you seem happy. Oh yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, you love it. So, yeah. did, you, did, you, did you get did you get bored of football because it was so straight down the line? Then it changed when I first went in. Mm. I was with Tony Adams. You know, come in talking yeah, about what was that like? Caprice. You know. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been, I've been there. 15, Milner's coming to my Volvic. So you got Ray Parler, Tony Adams. You got all the old crew in yeah. coming in, telling you all the stories, and then playing football. And it's a pretty, you'll get, you're like, you're, you're going in, and they used to go, I'll get paid to do this, you know. Yeah. But applied the sales and played football to a high standard, which is f- fair enough. Do what you want as long as you do the football bit. Yeah. But now you're getting judged so much off the pitch mm. that personality then, can't come out. But he used to come in, sit in the. Uh, in the, the physio room, just used to go and sit in there, not injured, just <laughs> listening to all the stories. Oh, really? And he'd just come in telling us, you know, what he'd been up to. The first one was Caprice. I loved it. <laughs> I loved so you it. Just, Cause Cause Caprice you at the time, when I was 15, I was there doing FA chimney, then yeah. I, you know, I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and because you, you were in the team with um, uh, Pennon and yeah, Pennon, Noble, yeah. D- David Noble, we've had on before. Oh, David Noble. He's yeah. a bat. Yeah, he, yeah, nah, but that. He loves it. what life's about, isn't it? It's about enjoying yourself, yeah. Did so you ever, was you ever drunk before, like, on a night before the game? The night, night before the game? Going out oh. drinking? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we used to bop, you know, you used to sort of bop around. That was, all, that's what it was all about, wasn't it? Um, I used to, I bought one of them, I remember being about nine, 19, I bought one of them Escalade things off on Ray. What, the massive crisis? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I ain't it all. <laughs> What are they? What's a knife? Oh, for me? Yeah, and they used to have eighteen. Could you give so me mates in there? No, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to have all my mates, and we used to have the TVs in and all that yeah. crap. This is proper. This is flesh. Yeah, I'm not like, oh, no, I'm a little flesh. bit, but yeah. But yeah. it was it was for all my mates. It had a little fridge. He's nineteen. To cart, we used to cart it all in. All the beers in the in the fridge <laughs> bit. That had in the car. And all the uh, the TVs in the back. Yeah, with all the porn on. Yeah. <laughs> driving around, driving around. Yeah. What was that? What was it like training with Henri? Oh, you, it was good. I you mean, was a skillful player, but then we used to have some. But that team was tough. So that was. See now they're a little bit. That team was just. It was full of men, wasn't it? You know, yeah. full of people that. I, I remember. So I used to. To survive, you had to be a bit leery. It yeah, was the yeah. way you had to be, didn't it? And I remember. I, used, I remember nipping in front of Martin Keown. So I used to play up front at that time. Hmm. So we used to have these training games where it was like a game. It was like a match day. All week you stay with the same team, but I used to nip in front. I scored, and I went, "Go on, old man, you're getting too old now. Get off." Oh, so right. Next, next time, next. <laughs> but it was only 
I, that was respect. So I banter, you know, banter of, yeah. was you only you had banter with people because you respected them, not yeah. because you were you being actually disrespectful. Thought, yeah. It's a different because you were quite happy that you but managed the modern to do, day, you know, the modern day of thinking is you. Oh, you're doing it disrespectful. You can't say nothing to hurt oh. people. You know all this so crap. Like, now often? it's now it's abuse or some bollocks, isn't it? <laughs> but I said that next time. Listen to this. Next time, he's uh, he's grabbed me by as as the ball's coming into me. So he's he's behind me. He's got my he's got me by the neck. I was only well, I'm little littler than him now, but back then I was a midget. <laughs> so he's he's got me by the neck and just ripped me. My whole shirt is just ripped. Slung me, <laughs> get up, you little like yeah. shit. <laughs> so, so I just got up and got, got, got on with it. My shirt, I said, Get yeah, far, I've got to change my shirt. He went, Get on with it. So that's what it was like. Oh, really? So that's what it was like. Was that Venga then? Was and that... Vieira was the same one. I sat in his seat once. <laughs> the story's going to come. <laughs> yeah, he seems scary. Yeah. Like... So we were away on uh, in Austria. So I sat down. Mm. Everyone had their designated seat. Well, I didn't know that. Ah, right. So I went and sat in. Is this a coach? Patrick Vieira's seat. On the coach? No, this is at dinner. Or oh, breakfast. dinner? Oh, yeah, okay. so they had their little seats, you know, French table. So, like, Perez, and I thought, I'm going to sit with them. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and sat down, and I got a tap on the shoulder, and they're all, like, they all knew. Oh, so they didn't say so nothing. So they stitched me yeah. up, didn't they? So I've sat there, tap on the shoulder, Vieira. So I've looked up, and, you know, you're like, caps, like, he went, move. And I, at that moment, I'm just going red, you know, like, my whole fa- I went, move, why? It's a seat. Like, what do you mean? I'm not moving. It went, that's my seat. And I, I, it was, at that point, I went, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish, I, you know, that, why? I said, yes. Why should I say yes? <laughs> and I went, I thought, shall I stand my ground and be, you know, I'm here Don't and I'm belong in this first yeah. team or do I back down you and just, just go, like, Sir God Vieira? Yeah. But, uh, so what did he do? For the next uh, two months, just abused me, <laughs> smack, lift every time I got the ball, lifted me. Really? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, they're all on you. So you used to all kick off in training and everything, yeah. Really? But that was, was but that was good. That created fight, who that. Be, who, what fights did you see in training? Pascal Sagan versus Carlo Torre. Wow, absolute <laughs> animals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, when you give it a token, get in the way. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. stop it, lads, stop it. <laughs> yeah. Get on with it. Yeah. But they just went. For, who uh, won, mate? I'd say. I still Sagan one, yeah. Really? Yeah, but it was yeah they proper going at each other, yeah. But that was it. That's that created that. Unity. You can accept that, can't you? Yeah. Because they accepted me every time he kicked me. I got up and got on with it. Yeah. You didn't. I didn't about. go. Oh, dad, like he's hurting me. You know, I just got on with it, and I yeah. kind of. And then in the end, he, we got a good relationship now. You know, so it was. One yeah, of them. it worked. I like that. You know, what I was, like that. What was Stacky? Atmosphere. What was mm. Graham Stack like? Graham Stack, he was a lunatic. Wasn't he? <laughs> It's not right, is it? <laughs> He's brilliant. But they're the characters that I missed. So like when I see I caught all that first then. So I yeah. was at what did I lead on from this? Started at Arsenal with all them lot. Yeah. And then Blackburn with Robbie Savage, Bellamy, <laughs> oh, what was uh, Bellamy Michael like? Gray, Dominic Matteo, so David Thompson, you know, all these yeah. characters that you I loved it. So you go into mm. work, it's like going in with all your mates. You know, yeah. all your mates when you're away on holiday or <laughs> yeah. something. You're like, this is unbelievable. I'm getting paid. What was Craig Bellamy like in training, though? He's a hard worker, he? He was good with me, but he'd give people an hard time. But it was because he loved to win. But he, he was just yeah, another character that you'd love to see what was going to happen that day. So you, I bet he's Especially in the physio rooms. Room. So the physio mm. rooms are like a hub yeah. of just banter. Like, you know, all this. Now it's... Abuse. What's this? All this uh, bullying in the workplace. Bullying in the yeah. work. Yeah, all this yeah. crap. Like, I mean, come on. Like, it was just. <laughs> did you, good fun? You did know? you ever play pranks on other players? Ah, uh, yeah. People are like, what? like <laughs> what guy had shitting me. Uh, uh, <laughs> they love shitting. For shitting in your uh, uh, <laughs> shitting in your um, <laughs> uh, wash bag. You, you know, oh. you'd always have a footballer has a wash bag. You kind of need one. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want one because you, you're probably a bit gimpy, isn't it? But you. <laughs> you, you <laughs> But, but they'd shit you shit, Yeah, it's do stuff like that or chop. Uh, I don't know. I come back and I had um, some diesel. Remember diesel jeans yeah, come yeah. out? I thought oh, I'll get them, and they're about they're a fortune, weren't they? Yeah. So I come in and they're all cut up, and you know, Do some anyone... people go, "Oh, you've, you've hurt my jeans," you know. And they're <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bruised jean. Yeah, gene. exactly. But um, uh, no, I miss all that. Yeah. I think every bloke, boy, right, yeah. in anywhere, that's what you love. So the game's changed now because. 
you that don't really go on. And when no. I co- when I finished, it was a little bit like going to work. Yeah. It was a, it was like the whole point of it is that you're not going to work mm. in it. In a in a way, but you still respected playing football and you wanted it to be played because it was an art and because you loved it and you loved being with your t- now it's played because you're an individual in the team. I, I find some even like, obviously like even at, like when you, I go and play five a side at like goals, people take it so serious. Yeah, you know, like, oh, come yeah. on, mate. Like, yeah, we just have proper, a proper, proper, like, if we can't have a laugh, yeah. <laughs> How the fuck are they going to do it at Arsenal yeah. or Tottenham? No, like, I know, it's yeah. like, I play with sometimes like, follow your man, follow me, like, pull back, pull back, come <laughs> oh, in, yeah. go and fuck off, mate. I'm yeah, here for exactly. an hour. But I'm going to try and beat four people and score that. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I don't want to do that. But everyone's worried about the way it looks now, the way yeah. it, it's not the way it feels, it's, it's, it's the way it looks, isn't it? Yeah. You know, all the social media and so all that. So they can't be. Mm. Like, even like so Deli Alley would put his finger up to yeah. one of his other players, one of his mates, yeah. just do like, like middle finger. It was like, oh no, like. But he should be allowed to express himself. But yeah. Society, I don't know whether it's. The English mentality, but we just we want them to get there. We want them to be Neymar and like party. Yeah. You know, he can do what he wants. Brazilian love, Brazil's they love Brazilians pulling love people it. apart, don't they? And now he does it. You're enjoying your life. You deserve to be there because you worked hard. Now we want to just did shoot you, you down because you know I did, don't like that. Did you ever get caught out by like the media and stuff for doing anything particular, like out coming like late nights out? Oh yeah, or? crowd surfing with my shirt off at the Kings of Leon at Wembley. Yeah. I got caught, didn't I? And uh, What's I, got, wrong with that? I got pulled in the day after. I thought I got away with it. Was you playing the football the next day? Well, I weren't training, but I was in. I weren't. All right. You know what I mean? I was having to go. But you was off your face at yeah, yeah, on crowd surfing. Yeah, crowd surfing. Yeah, <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, I remember that. You know, right in the mosh. Yeah. yeah. And then I got lifted. I'm there, like no shirt on, and then people start. That was camera phones. Just starting. the start of it. And I was people there, and, I, and then that was it. Next day in the sun. Yeah. As they're lifting you up, Miss Sky. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, and uh, the other stories you should go for as well that uh, Jimmy said uh, the mm. when uh, he was at England and squad you sneaked in McDonald's yeah I used to have I used to have my mate that used to do a bit for me because I was banned from driving and then he became a driver and then uh, started working for me so he's one of my best mates so like yeah. we used to get him and I was, it was we used to stay in the Grove so all my mates are from like Hertfordshire and North London yeah. so he used to come over you know and uh, yeah we used to whatever you wanted you know. <laughs> Prison. <laughs> well, it is. That's the thing, isn't it? It is. Oh, so we've got this from a, got a message this? from Graham Stack. Right, here we go. This is uh, the voicemail. Hello, mate. What's happening? It's only Stack Attack. Uh, just got your message about Bench coming in. What's a character? Just sitting down watching the old football update. The pack of digestives. <laughs> Cup of tea, cock out, ready to fucking go to work. But I have got a funny story that I've just remembered, and I could be fuck typing it all out. But I once remember David Bentley playing in a resi game at London Colney with a couple of the, uh, the other boys, like Stepanovs and Tablaridis, the ones that couldn't fucking pass it straight. And I just remember Bench just fucking battering all of them when he was about 17, and they'd all played for their countries and played for Arsenal. <laughs> And they got a free kick about 40 yards out and they were going, get it done and play, pass, play. Bentley went, fuck off, mate. He went, I'll score. And I went, oh, here we go. It's the Bentley show again. And I just remember him sticking the ball down. He just fucking took about three steps backwards and fucking swazzed it straight in the bins. And just fucking walked off as if to say, don't ever tell me how to play football again, you bunch of <laughs> What a message! I think that's the best voice oh, in the world. That is a great time. message. He yeah. just hangs it up on as well. Go on, he's not. Like, All right, see you. It's just a yeah, no, that's well. You had to survive, didn't you? That's oh. what it was. Well, yeah, because what was it like? A stepping off was awful, wasn't he? Oh, it was terrible. He was just one of them that he just couldn't move. He weren't mobile, couldn't pass it on that bit. So when he's telling you what to do, you, you just look at him. Yeah. Hey, come on, mate. <laughs> sort it out. Uh, yeah, no. Nah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember loads. You know, I'm like, that's the way yeah. it was, wasn't it? Because you had to... See, that's when I was coming through there, it was such a strong bunch Yeah. that you had to... Have yeah. a bit about you, because you've got yeah. Henri or Burkham. Yeah, or... I remember... Mm. What was it? I broke my nose, Van Bronckhorst elbowing me, just just going out, ball going out of place, smacking, you know, just clear as day, smack, have yeah. that. You know, like, have that, deal with it. You just get on if with you want to go, let's go. But and that's that, just... why do you think that Arsenal haven't got that anymore? And it's still the same manager. Do you reckon it was the players or it was he, the players? Yeah. And he sort of mm. he didn't. Now did he not could... like that side yeah, of it? Yeah, but when you look at the Arsenal team now, you see a boyish mentality. You see yeah. a modern way of life, way of thinking, didn't you? Like yeah. everyone, you know, it's that 
you know. What was he like to play for? If, if you abuse me, that, that's that's bullying. And if yeah. you if you if you tr- you know if you, if we have a fight, I'm going to sue you. That's the mentality. Isn't rather it? than just rather than just what like, happens on the pitch, we have a bit mm. of a falling out. Oh, let's just 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 get on with it. It's a better mentality, I well, think. Than we have, did then, you enjoy then, playing? Mm. Did you not enjoy playing f- for him, Wenger? Because he seems like. I can't imagine you getting on with him. No, he was back then. Yeah, no, it was good. Oh, was he alive? Yeah, yeah, no, it was good. He loved it. But that, I think that comes from your players. Yeah. You know, they had the style of play, but mm. they also had that core, like, and that's why they were so good, because they had that core uh, strength, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it was great to be a part of and around. Loved them. it. Yeah, did, yeah. And because obviously he was close with, like, Stacky. Did you go on holiday with Stacky and Noble? No. David? <laughs> 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 I think the answer is yes, isn't it? But you don't want to talk about that. No, look down on that. Where did you, where did you go? Hey? Huh? Hey? Don't be Just have a quiet one. Um, yeah, no, we. French Riviera, wasn't it? I think it was a sipping champagne and. Is that where you went? French Riviera? Yeah. <laughs> no. Where did you go? Can you not talk about it? I can't, I don't know when that was. <laughs> This is like 24 hours in yeah, police. Can, I, mean, I do feel like I'm in there, actually. Well, I've only yeah, 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 on yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 you didn't. You I'm didn't. trying to remember, yeah. Oh, OK, I thought you was being evasive no, on purpose yeah. for some reason. <laughs> um, and uh, Parler, do you... Um, what's, yeah, what's he right, like? yeah. He was, he, was, he was another one that you looked up to, you know, and he was one of the English lads when I was coming up into that. <laughs> you know, he was there, he'd sit on his table, tell you all his stories, you know. Because he used to get so much banter about his divorce, didn't he? Oh, was that... That's that's what he was going through. He was yeah. mental. <laughs> he got dragged on for about 10 years. Yeah, his divorce, he kept on mentioning it when he came on as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah, no, that done him in, didn't it? But no, he was another great... He was great, he was. He was, what a pl- you know, what a player, what a personality. Yeah. You know, around the building, it just... It made going in every day... Fun. Loving it. Did you yeah. meet... Was you sad to leave Arsenal then? I sort of had to, you know, I didn't mm. see... I got to that point where I thought, do you know what, I've got to go out. So I went on loan to Norwich. Yeah. And then just try to play as many games as I could. Did but you that, get I was dropped under... at Norwich for. Oh, what did you get dropped for at Norwich? Right. <laughs> this story. <laughs> so so we, they're having a bit of a troubled time with it. And he just, you know, when a, the manager started to make us train in our kit, it was Worthing, Worthington. But he was a left Training your kit? What, training what? your match kit. Why would you do that? I know, you know. And go, is that a bit degrading for, as a player then? Yeah, because you're like, it's as if you can't recognise <laughs> recognise each other on a Saturday. That's yeah. what he's getting at, oh, you know, okay. like training your kit. So that was under Malky Mackay. Malky Mackay was club captain when I was mm. there. So, um, but anyway, so he used to join in training. So he was left back and I was on the right. Yeah. So he used to lift me and train, you know, like... What, the manager? go through me, yeah. Really? Yeah, so he used to be like trying to prove... I don't still know. And I was, still like, I was like, come on, we're having it. But then, so I got the ump about that. <laughs> and But we, were, we used to do this keep ball every day. So I'm leading on. This is how this all escalated. Cause so we, basically, it's a bit of resentment setting No, but he, in, this, in this, you know, we circle, we have two in the middle, piggy yeah. in the middle. When he used to he used to fire it in at me, like in, in at me knee, like as hard as he could to get me in, and then go, right, get in. He didn't. Uh huh, okay. And so I used to go, fuck you. And I used to give it him back. And he's the manager. He's weird. <laughs> and then, and then. He, uh, one point, it was the day that all the press come to the game. I didn't know they were uh, come to training on a Friday. You know, they come and film before training. You know, you running out and then they all were there. And when he did that, I just pick, booted every ball, picked the ball up and went, fuck it, have that, you know. And it, was, it was at the time that Peter Kay said, it, have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, have yeah. it, yeah. yeah so you got so all they the... all word it and then it went in all the press, like, have it. Like, ben, you know. <laughs> he was booting the balls away. Yeah, and it was all to do with... He got dropped. Us. Yeah, I think I might have got dropped for that, yeah. <laughs> but that was a good time, Norwich, as well. That was another good time. Who, what Great characters club. were there? It was uh, Phil Moran, right? <laughs> Phil Moran? This is Phil Moran. Exactly. He's, <laughs> <laughs> right, listen to this. He's now... Right, he was a boy. He was, like, a proper boy. Loved it. He was an Irish, Irish lad. Come from Man United. <laughs> he was on decent money at, at, at Norwich. On loan? No, no. He'd signed there full-time. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was a boy, loved it, you know, like one of the old school players. Uh, he's now in the Vatican as what? a jazz. And he's, he's, yeah, he's on course to be the, pro- uh, the, pope. the pope. The Pope. No, the Pope. The he's pope. on course to be the Pope. He'll fill my mind. He's on course. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, uh, if he's Pope, it'd be unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be unbelievable because he's... what he you've got, got dirt to, on the Pope. What he got... Oh, you could tell um, a story on the yeah, Pope. I'll, I'll know all the secrets, won't I? Because I'll Fuck go in there, I'm going to let that one go. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> of my life. He's in the Vatican. He's going to be the pa- so yeah. uh, Phil Moran. Phil Moran, yeah. Phil Moran. He's, uh, it sounds like something a pope would ask a kid to do. Yeah, you know, when they, they, they go <laughs> Phil in Moran, there. will you? Yeah, they go in there and they train up, don't they? And then they go yeah. for each stage. And yeah, he's on course to be the pope. Go Unbelievable. On, Unbelievable. There you go. Us footballers, look. There you go. From, from go the, anywhere. Uh, from the flooring. Pope. Yeah. <laughs> flooring. Poor. Accountancy. Accountancy. <laughs> And then from Norwich to Blackburn with Robbie Savage. She went from yeah. the Pope to Robbie and Savage. That, yeah, that was it, yeah. And that, well, he probably classed himself as the Pope when he said. Did you get on with him or did you crash? I did, yeah, no. Yeah. Got on really well, yeah. He was a great character. He was another one. So I moved into Arsenal being like that, then yeah. Norwich being like that, then Blackburn being like that, and then as as the career developed, you, you started moving into places that weren't that great. But yeah, mm. no, Sev... He was. Um, he phoned me up. What, did you hear this story? When he, my first thing. So everyone sort of knows you're going to get called up for England. Yeah. So you know when to expect the call. It's Friday morning, eight till nine. The manager phones everyone during that period before it goes. Mm. So I'm there. I'm up. You know, half seven. My coffee. Get ready. He's going to call me. <laughs> so eight 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 oh five. I get a call. And it was Robbie Savage, but I thought it was McLaren. So I, I've had a full conversation thinking it's McLaren going, yeah, yeah and he's going, he yeah, mate, I think you're brilliant. Set? And he's got it on voice record. Oh. Yeah, and he sticks me <laughs> Well, McLaren phoned because then McLaren phoned me half hour later. <laughs> and I went, you've just phoned me. And it was my first England oh, call God, up. So you think, oh. Yeah, yeah, so that's what you're dealing with. Yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you had it on Did uh, you hang out with Savage at Blackburn? Is that the one yeah. who, yeah. Yeah, we all used to... All the, Did you go... Was there a drinking culture at Blackburn? Yeah, well, a little bit, yeah. But we used to, yeah, pick our times when you did it. Um, but we all used to, yeah, socialise together. Socialise with the wives, socialise, golfing, doing bits and bobs, yeah. yeah. We used to... <laughs> we used to, you know, you go on your little preset, you know, through the season tours and that, you know, when you go away. You must have... We went to Orlando. Rid- How was that? <laughs> this story, because you just said someone nicked a digger or something. That was the oh, stack yeah, right. Oh, well... I, uh, they used to have these. We stayed in one of these golf camps, and then uh, you know, golf. You have the central resort bit, and then you have these apartments that are all over, and then you yeah. get buses that pick you up. Right, <laughs> but they're they class as main roads. But the geezer turned up, so everyone got on. I went right, call him over there. Says he's gone over. I've nicked the bus. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Middle of America. How yeah. big? Like, like a full like, like a, half a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Half a big one. A single decker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that like a decent. Half a big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've. uh, So I've nicked it. And like, as I'm driving it, you know, like. Is there anyone on board? Yeah, the whole team. Is that like Blackburn? Yeah, Blackburn. The whole Blackburn team. Yeah, the whole Blackburn squad. They're loving it. They're like, go on. And I'm like, hey. But he's he's raced up there and called in the police and everything, yeah. Did you get arrested? No, Mark Hughes managed to get me out of it. Yeah. What was he like, Mark Hughes? Yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah. You liked him. He was strong, and he, he could handle. He could handle you. You had to stay in line, but he'd give you a little bit, you know. Yeah. I remember um, one night we. Uh, he said, "You're not allowed out tonight." <laughs> Mark Hughes and his team, you know, his, his team that he had around him, and there was this uh, was this place we all wanted to go to in Orlando. He says, "You're not allowed out tonight." And we all went, "Yeah, all right." Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. You're all not allowed out. OK. Every single team member's gone out. So as we turned up to the place, the only reason he didn't want us to go out because he was going to the place with all the management. Oh! So, <laughs> so as we turned up, I remember, I remember him turning up and uh, me being in the toilet because I, I was only... I was a youngster. He'd let the older ones deal with it. You know, uh, we did tell the doorman not to let him in. <laughs> <laughs> I remember being in the toilet having a, having a piss and he came in and looked at me. And I looked at him and went, sorry, Gaffer. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go with all the old lads, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, and then you got called up for England when you was at Blackburn. Yeah. What, what was Bullard? Was Bullard a good player? What did you say about Bullard? Yeah, Bullard, Bullard was quality. Yeah. He's another one. He was. You love him, didn't you? Like when he's playing, he's just, he just... When he turns up. He was just energetic. He was just unbelievable. He used to, when we were at England camps, he used to come just two o'clock in the morning, not when we... Like, I struggled to sleep as well. Yeah. But like... He'd come in and knock on my door and just go, oh. I'd say, you all right? He'd go, yeah, I just, just don't want to be on my own. I used to go, all right. He used to cut, says, what, what, you know, like that yeah. time. And I'd be like, what, what do you want? 
and he used to come sit on the end of your bed, would have a relax. Like, a chat. Have, have a wrestle. <laughs> you have a wrestle? <laughs> oh, just have a little wrestle? Yeah, have a little wrestle, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did he, he go back to his room or stay in your room? Yeah, no. None of that angry pegs. <laughs> 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 I don't just know. Oh, wrestle, 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 yeah. Don't want to be by uh, myself. Uh, yeah, he used to be... Uh, Oh, brilliant! Yeah, he used to come sit on the end of my bed, but he used to be a character. We had a we had. A... Was he that loud with all the England players oh, as well? Was he a bit? Oh quiet? yeah, yeah. No, he was. Yeah, brilliant. What did? What I just couldn't like... stop laughing, man. That's what. Like I just couldn't stop laughing. Yeah, yeah no, he is. He's so funny. But we got told you got to be in your bedrooms at ten o'clock, and we were having a table tennis tournament in Barcelona in one of the hotels, and they had a table tennis in the central one of these hotels that all the rooms come and we snuck out and started having a table tennis, yeah. and we were like trying to be quiet. But like then we forgot, it was about 11 o'clock, we forgot that we had the curfew, forgot that we were at England and forgot that all the management were in bed. So we started having a... And in the end, everyone comes out and we're all downstairs, you know, shouting and everything. <laughs> it was just like that. It was me with him. Was just... How did, like, the, the like established pros, in the like, established players in the England squad react to it? Like Beckham and was it Gerard? Yeah, they, was they... I think they liked it, they, but <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> but... Yeah, I think it needed that. Yeah, but that's the downfall of England. That's when I was there. That's why I know. That's why England don't play well. Yeah, it's none of that's going on. Well, it is. By the time you get to the games, you just want to get back to your can't club. Be bothered. Yeah, you like. That's what it is. When you watch them play, I always think the way you play is a reflection on the way you live your life. Hmm. So, because football is a form of expressing yourself. So if you go out there in the mentality of a robot, you play like one. Yeah, yeah. If you go out there with a mentality of like, I don't care, you're Relax gonna, you're going to do stuff that's outside the box. That's why the foreigners do it because they have this relaxed way mentality of doing it where they're just free. Players like that, yeah, yeah. yeah, and everyone loves them. So yeah. one side of things, we love them. If you was like, like if you're Spanish from player, England, if you're from yeah. England and you're like live next door to me, I don't like you because I'm. If you well, if you got mm. if you got signed from like Barcelona and yeah. Arsenal and coming over as a 16 year old, like yeah. everyone was like, oh, it's amazing young. But when he's yeah. like, oh, he's a cocky little shit. Yeah, from he's North a cocky London. little arrogant. Mm. So Rather than like, like oh, people, he's so naturally gifted. Yeah, they're and, just he's having a laugh. I want to go. That's what you want to do, don't you? I don't want to take off anyone. Don't want to. Did you? Have you always been confident? Have you always or was that you something you built? I think there's something that you have to build on, yeah. I'm not, when you played, I just think I, even now when I come in through here, yeah. I think I get nervous and I just think, just yeah, go. you've got because if I go under, fuck that, I'm not, I'm not being that guy. I go mm. over, so I've spent my life doing that. I go just in. I've been the same because I was a very nervous kid and very yeah, anxious. Yeah, but just, then you just, you, in order to deal with it, you just go right. I'm going to be the most confident person. Yeah, yeah. I can be or in the yeah. room and then it sort of you yeah. just sort of fake it till you make it and yeah, then all of a sudden yeah. you become a confident person when exactly. you weren't to start with. Yeah. I mean because like, when you got called up to England squad you told Capella he was the best crosser here yeah. and Beckham was in the squad. <laughs> yeah. And I know you can whip a ball yeah. but <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. do you still think you're better than Beckham at crossing? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I put more pace on it. Look at him. He's the yeah. same percentage. Look, he just chips it in there. Look, watch this wallop. Yeah. <laughs> but that was more. That was more just to create. It was a bit. You know, when if I see a quiet, I'm one of them that can't have a quiet moment. Yeah. So you know, if you're around the dinner table, and it's a you feel you, like you yourself, feel yeah. like, I've got mm. to say something. You probably say something. That, uh, yeah, you're one of them, right? So I'd rather make a noise and be awkward than sit yeah, silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. So <laughs> if there was a training session where it was a bit. It was going down where I, I was bored, or, or I thought yeah. the team, I, I'd do something, you know, it, it, I, I remember we losing the game, we lost the game at Tottenham, and I ran out with, oh God, I ran out to training with um, Michael Dawson's Ugg boots on, he had Ugg boots, I don't know whether you wear Ugg boots, but I think they're a lady. <laughs> well, you look like you used to play I in them as well, some days. You know, a ladies thing, I don't, do yeah, you wear, I don't no, know. I, I don't think they're a ladies shoe. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Well, we had a pair of Ugg boots on, so I wore them just to diffuse, you do something. Yeah. I just... Did you get in trouble for that? Yeah, I think sometimes, <laughs> yeah. Because I think they thought... No, no I grip football, kept on I took over. football really serious, but didn't want to act serious, you know? Yeah. Mm. So I took it really serious, and I think that's the way it needs to be. Yeah. And you've got to trust someone if they can go out, but sometimes uh, later on in their career, they don't want to see that now, because there's nah. a lot of pressure, isn't there, for a manager? So we'd look and go, he's pissing about, and that, mm. that weren't the case. So it was like, yeah. Did, did um did, was there any night outs with the England squad? Um, or was it all in no, bed by ten? No, in bed by ten. Capello yeah. was a very serious. Capello's banned term, ketchup 
He banned ketchup. Oh, wow. Like, he, he started off, you know, when you go in and you have this disciplined attitude. And flip flops as well, wasn't it? Yeah, he's like banning everything. Why are you flip flops? Yeah, flip flops. What damage is that doing? I don't know. Yeah, what was flip flops about? I don't you, know. Oh. And ketchup. He did, he did ban them. I don't know, you were there. Did he okay. ban them? <laughs> <laughs> but he definitely banned ketchup. Yeah, he, he banned ketchup and he did. Um, you could only. But what, also, he's with you for like two weeks a year. No, he's... So I'll, you could eat fucking three ton of it all year and yeah. in that two weeks mm. it's going to be alright. When so you're ketchup. at home, you, you were your missus. Yeah. You, that's it. Maybe there's some blokes who like having sex all night before yeah. the game or the summer. Some who just want to wrestle Jimmy yeah, Bullard. Different, mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just want to have a wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, what was I leading on to? Yeah, so he, you couldn't sit down until the captain sat down to yeah. eat his dinner. It's just awkward. Mm. Oh. It's like, what's that about? So, so, so like, John yeah. Terry was captain. He found it yeah. awkward. Well, yeah, exactly. Or Gerard so, yeah. was captain, whoever it was. Well, also, because if Wayne Bridges sat, sat down, yeah. he's oh, upstairs yeah, for that, half that, hour. That, yeah, and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> then he's gonna come down for a dinner. <laughs> so he, uh, so that was weird. So you'd you'd have all these, yeah, weird Wrong. ways. I remember sitting with a spiritual. Wow, oh, that was McLaren, yeah. And I sat there. This is a story. Oh, I like stuff like that, yeah, yeah, McLaren used to have this little sidekick that used to. It was a way of earning umbrella. money, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the umbrella. I was there. <laughs> I was there. I remember I was on the bench that night. And I was like, "What's he doing? Look at him." <laughs> But he used to not want to mess up his patch, did he? Because he was bald. Yeah, because oh, he had... Oh, that what it was? Yeah, that was it, wasn't it? He had, Get he had the hair, and he didn't want to mess... Like, oh. that's why the brolly went up. Went, yeah. But we, he used to have a sidekick called Bill Beswick or something. Um, and he was a, a spiritual, you know, one of these blokes who give you a, a pie chart on how to live your life, you know, like, who live oh, like positive... A, you know, yeah. this sort of rage now, it's, like, everywhere, isn't it? People love it, but they're... Yeah. He used to do that, and he used to be sat, and he used to be going, you need to do this, and Michael Owen's there. Like, it's all right for me, you know, like yeah. a 20-year-old. I'll get that, you know, that, oh, I get trying to educate me, but I had Michael Owen, he's got like 400 goals around Madrid, Stephen Gerrard, and I'm looking around going, mate, you're losing, that's the way you lose the yeah. dressing room. Yeah. Trust them. Yeah. They just they're, go, they're already they doing go, it. Right, managers, they just, that's what you do, you they go, right, off. I can't play, in the, I'm not coming here again, so that's it. So then they start talking, and then they're well, McLaren the called you the new Beckham. Yeah. Why did that? Was that a lot of pressure, or did you just no? Because I, I didn't have that. I had no intentions when I when I was at Arsenal. I used to play off the striker. I was the new Burkamp at Arsenal. Yeah. So and playing on the wing, I didn't understand why anyone would play there. I hated it. <laughs> but when I Wenger started to put me out there because I was a bit smaller, so he like put. And he you does push, that with a lot of people. Yeah, he, he puts you on the wing because you don't want to trust. I don't know if he wants to trust people. I, I don't. He put me on the wing, and I was like, right. And I went to Norwich, and they signed me to play on the wing. So I remember my first game against Crystal Palace, and I was like, wow. And the game just passed me by because it was so quick. Mm. And I remember looking and going, well, who plays on the wing? All right, what do I have to do? <laughs> and <laughs> that's what it was. A bit late, yeah. And at that point, Beckham was a right winger, and I said, I'm going to have to do it. Because I never played like that so in my life. I never played wing uh, on the wing in my life <laughs> until I played... Where Premier your, League football. Where was your ideal position then? Off the striker. Yeah. But that weren't... Back then, that's not how you went. You went with two up front. You didn't mm. really have that mm. off the striker. Nowhere would allow that. So I went on the wing. And I'll tell you, the first time I played in the competitive games, Crystal Palace on the wing. Or I played in a few for, for Arsenal Did in the cup. you score in your debut for Arsenal? Yeah, off the striker. Yeah, yeah. on the League Cup or something. Yeah, yeah, chipped it. I was yeah. doing the burkett. So I used to just watch everything he did and try to copy it. You know, one touch. When it came into me... But then I was moved on to wing where you have to get up and down, track your runner. Oh, yeah. I was like, you oh. had a track your runner. I was, like, I was like, mate. <laughs> so I get the fullback going, look, pick out your runner, you look after him, that's your job. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's yeah. Mm. And you, then so you were, being Beckham was like, mm, I didn't really want to be But there. I just looked and thought, well, what's he do? Cross it. <laughs> and then what's he do? Diag. So I'll just do that. <laughs> And then run up and down. That's what I thought. Because <laughs> yeah. you want to make a career, don't you? You, yeah. you want to, mm. and that's what happened. I just got pigeonholed as a right winger, and then you get compared to your, and it was Beckham, mm. and that's yeah. Well, that so being like him, I couldn't handle it. I could, I couldn't handle being him. I don't yeah. know how he does it. Mm. You know, Very regimented. So many, so much focus on your life. I don't, you know, I do have no social media whatsoever. I have nothing because yeah. like, I just think, why would I tell anyone where I am? Yeah. You know? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, why sure. the, or why show some? Like, I think that, but it's the way the world is. But I just think. So I never. I had think that. you maybe think a bit differently. Where in football, you need to be told what to do, yeah. and then you just do it. Where I yeah. think you was a little bit more. Uh, the way you operate now in loads of different businesses and yeah. self motivated and all that kind of yeah, stuff. I think, think, yeah, I think. I think you probably found it a bit boring if you go right, run up there, do that because it is quite. But yeah, when you I get down to the bait, like the like, <laughs> high level football, it's like. Do that. Yeah, and that's you have to do is. that, and yeah. then it's and growing up, like, following Arsenal, I was just doing what I was just yeah. in the old, just playing. Yeah, and... <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Throwing it about, yeah. my <laughs> yeah. cars off on roof. <laughs> were you as well? Were you? Are you a Man United fan, or were you a Man United fan? I grew up. My my dad was in the RF. All his brothers went RF. I lived in Belgium for a bit. My, all my family from Rochdale, north in yeah. Manchester. Every mm-hmm. one of them. Oh really? There, yeah. So what? What happened was we mo- he moved in the RF to Belgium and so on. My sister lived there for a few years. And then we come back and my granddad had a flooring company. <laughs> you look at it. He's in it. Yeah, I've moved in, in the, the, I've moved in in the family tree. Yeah. <laughs> but then, yeah. Who don't need floors? <laughs> no, who don't? You always need a floor. Astronauts. That's the that only one. That is it. Due diligence. You yeah. only need a floor. Everyone needs a floor. So, yeah. do you need a floor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A new house or renovate your house. Wherever you, you are, you need a floor. You need a floor. Yeah. You see, you need top quality floor, don't you? A solid floor, and yeah, also you need a floor, you need somebody to get drunk, yeah, you need someone to do your numbers. Sock and yeah. full package. It's, it's gonna come in full circle yeah. business. <laughs> What's the flooring like at your bars? Yeah, quality, yeah, yeah. really mm. nice. Um, so, is that, is that why you say Antico. 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 I've got with Antico, oh, yeah. right, oh, you love it, don't you? Yeah, 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 I'm doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> Antico and everywhere, mate. <laughs> He's got a few quid now, but he's looking at it. Well, I don't even know. <laughs> I, see I don't know what Antico, <laughs> Antico is. Yeah, I'm, really, I'm, I'm really flash. I've got floor. <laughs> I've got a slight, I've got wooden floors. I'm oh, really flash. Man. Money's in your game now, though. What's it? Yeah, it's not bad. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in that and all. Yeah, there you go. I don't know, mate. We're about all in the same I watched game. the Michael McIntyre documentary a couple of days ago. Oh, yeah. And it was showing his way. He yeah, you things. start from nothing, but he absolutely... Dominates it. He does like arenas everywhere in the world, right? Yeah. South Africa, Malta. Yeah. He's going over to America. He's trying to break up. I think he's going to go yeah. over to America. How'd you get big in YouTube? How'd you get big in Malta? YouTube and also he's. I think Michael McIntyre Roadshow got sold around yeah, the that's world. What mm. He said his television thing broke. Yeah. Didn't do that well. You know his. Uh, talk show, talk show, yeah, and then he went to do that Saturday night show, which was yeah. bigger than X Factor. Oh yeah, and that's, that sort of he catapulted. smashed it with that, and then that mm. will be sold to like Scandinavia, oh, right. and all the stand-up uh, shows go to Scandinavia, and then they buy tickets. And yeah. then you go there once and smash it in like a mm. theatre, and then it, yeah. it builds. But he's just he's he's so good, he works. So I do. Hard. I had a similar thing. thing. I think. It's, yeah, it's, massive it's Tottenham fan. Yeah. yeah. Oh I've yeah, got... I think he did. He went down that yeah because he had a story about meeting Aaron Lennon. I remember. And Aaron Lennon's a got an absolute shop already. Oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You've got a duck, in you, when he walks past? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Aaron Lennon's an absolute... Yeah. He's packing. Yeah, it's but bizarre, what, what, isn't it, really? So what, yeah, it would what, Mike, how was Michael he? McIntyre seeing Aaron Lennon's dick? Because I think he went to meet the t- squad yeah, go, in the, tra- in the tra- changing yeah, room yeah. and Aaron Lennon's like, turned round yeah. and then he's, it followed oh, him back three yeah, minutes yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, that city went, whoo! Swaying yeah, out I. like a shit turning in a pool. <laughs> swinging the <laughs> anchor like, around like and taking out the crew. It's like a skipping rope and you got to like, jump yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we used to use it, is that? Yeah. Um, and at Tottenham, you've got, um, well, the one that you... Uh, anyway, hang on a second, comedians. hang on a second, Rob. comedians, right? <laughs> oh, met, he's I, trying to get into that. <laughs> <Listen, laughs> I met, uh, I, I knew the guy that was looking after, I love Billy Connolly, my granddad yeah. got me into Billy Connolly, loved him. I yeah. watched his, I watched something he did last night, actually, but anyway. So we went in Manchester when I was up there to watch him, and as I walked in, I got to go meet him in his back oh, wow. know, room. It's brilliant. Like, mm. I was like, but my granddad died, but he... You know, it was like, I'd love to take him that oh, moment. Oh, so you're going so to die in. before you met him. Oh. Yeah, and he grew up with always, he, when yeah. I used to go, yeah, I'll come here, son, like, watch this. And he used yeah. to watch it with him. And uh, went in, and as I went in, Peter Kay was there. Really? But he was, at, he was at, out? No, but he was having his breakdown period, you know, when he wouldn't, he didn't think to come back in. Uh, we we, he, he we weren't doing anything. We well, didn't do anything, did he? Yeah, 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 he was saying to me, he, he was going to me, I don't know whether I'm going to come. I've just met him. And he was saying. And Peter Kay, I'll, my family were obsessed with yeah, like, yeah. and I was. He used to yeah. watch like all the whole, the, yeah. everything. And he, he was uh, the blood. And best I remember of, going in mm. there and he was going, I just don't think I'm gonna make a comeback. And I was like, really? Yeah, I was going yeah. to Peter Kay, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're in the moment, yeah. you know, I'm in this room, Billy Collin, my granddad's hero, Peter Kay, all my And he's family. having a breakdown, he's got a little cheer up and trying to make you Yeah. You brought him on my moment. Peter, come on, son. And that's what it got to. I was going, you okay, don't make a play for you. Yeah. It was a weird moment that was. Are you yeah. behind him doing another gig then? Eh? 
Peter Kerr's next tour, was that you giving him a motivation? Did you give him a pat on? Yeah, I was there for him. He, he, took he invested me on board, in him. Actually. Got yeah, him that's what I was <laughs> and how was it? What was Billy like to meet Billy Conley? Oh, he's brilliant, yeah. Oh, was it? Funny. Just a funny guy, like, off, the, time, off yeah. the stage mm. as well. Yeah, he's brilliant, yeah. Um, well, back to back to good, yeah. football. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. so, yeah. so my, question, yeah, football, my yeah. question was: um, so you were a Man United fan? Oh yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. what was it like? Because it's going a hat trick against like um, them on, on your I, debut. I won't. This is where I was. So my oh, dad, because, because so the Manchester fan. I never, had, I never had a. No, they're all Rochdale fans. They're season I've done a, I've done a gig at the Middleton Arena in oh, Rochdale. Did you? <laughs> you ever been there? Yeah. Do you like Rochdale? It's alright. Got a lovely Tesco. Say nothing. <laughs> Lovely floors as well. <laughs> yeah, floors. <laughs> but he, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so we moved around. So I never had that, like, dad or family drumming the team into me. So yeah. I was more into players. So Cantona mm. and Gaza. Oh, really? So they were like my idols growing up. So I had all their videos, all their shirts, Man United shirt. I trained at Arsenal. And I remember I went there when I was 11 and I refused to not train in my Cantona shirt. Really? Yeah. Or Liam Brady. Uh, Liam Brady was with my dad. And I was, yeah, it's what mental state you're in. I was going, no, I can only train in my Cantona shirt and my collar up. <laughs> I love so, it. Yeah. <laughs> so you're 38, don't yeah. fit. <laughs> Down the farther side. It's like only way I play. <laughs> but that's, yeah, under the clock end in uh, they had really? the indoor arena there. Yeah, Amazing. and they used to go down there because they wanted to get me in there. But I was refusing to go to a football club, and uh, I'd, I'd only train in my Canton shirt. But I was a player. I was a fan of Gaza. So the first game I ever see was Tottenham. Mm. All oh. my mates were Tottenham, and the first and Gaza became my idol after ninety. Yeah. So I was like, you know. Well, it's the thing is, like, my dad, none of my family really liked football. My mm. dad and like uncles and stuff. Yeah. So we just liked Ian Wright. Oh, so right. we just started supporting Arsenal because mm. there was yeah. a London team. You get a, like, yeah. It's not my local club, but no. you just you feel like you know. I think that's happened sometimes. So there's people... no one to take because also net like, like, and I'm, a, I'm an Arsenal fan, but I can't get into it and get upset the same way no, as people no. do that went yeah. as a kid. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like a bit of a fraud. It's like I should follow Arsenal, <laughs> yeah. but I can't call myself like I'm such an because yeah. I go to the game, they lose, and I'm like, oh, that's a shame. But there's geezers like, oh, why don't I? And, like, they regress <laughs> yeah. to being seven because like, exactly. it's like that's what they grow up with. Yeah. But like you feel like, well, but if you're not taken as a kid, I never went to football till I was an adult, yeah. so we couldn't afford to go really. Yeah, yeah. So because I, like, I had four brothers, it yeah. cost about like, two hundred quid for dad taking. <laughs> yeah. So like you, 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 you support, it's like you follow them in a different way, yeah. isn't it? I'll get that. That's where I was because, um, so I didn't have a team, yeah. So I mm. didn't really that. And Did people get offended, any... people think I'm lying to them <laughs> who I supported. I get this, like, oh, you're not really because I says, yeah, you know, Tottenham first game yeah. I ever see, bit of a, yeah, Tottenham. I suppose I'm a Tottenham fan, and then like, no, you're a Man United, so I'm not really, yeah. yeah. So um, some Tottenham fans get the ump. And all the Arsenal fans think I'm an Arsenal fan. <laughs> yes, they love you for it. Yes, yeah, so like, I'm just, uh, but I'll just play off which sort of environment I'm in. Like, yeah, I'm fuck, I never liked yeah. Arsenal anyway. That sort of scum never wanted to go. Like, Finger fat, like, like, Yeah, that's it. <laughs> didn't have a chance, did I? <laughs> um, and at Tottenham, you got, the, my favourite moment of you at Tottenham was throwing a bucket of water over our oh, yeah. red nap. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that was sort of the end of your career doing that, wasn't no, it? it was, yeah. <laughs> really? You <laughs> were going around saying, I'm never going to play with him again. Sorry to bring that up. It looked it's like he was enjoying it. I, I guess he's got a bit of a shit on, mate. It was because it was, it was I was so happy. We just qualified for the Champions League, beat Man City. Mm. And we were like, it was like every, you know, all week, you know, like, I've got yeah. all my mates around my house because I was living in the area where I was sort of from. Everyone's around, t- like, City, come on, we've got to do them, get in the Champions League. So I'm getting right into it. <laughs> and then at that moment... After we'd done them, and it was that, that before that game, they, he dropped me for that game, and because I played ten before that, so I was like right in it. Yeah. And then I didn't play that game, but come on. So then you were just in the team of so being in there, champ. You know, it was like rocking. Yeah, like, yeah. And then I think it was Basong in there. It weren't my idea, <laughs> but it's like anything in it. I sort of took the, and owned the idea. You yeah. know, like, <laughs> they sort of yeah, I'll do that, I'll do that. And then let's go and get the water and do him. And and I went, yeah, yeah, because we, it was more because we loved him, not because we wanted yeah. to make him look like a mug. Mm. It was because, like, he's part of all together. Because we had a good team, because we had Crouchy, Woodgate, we had all them lot there. It yeah. was a good, mm. Kino, everyone was there. And it was like, so, I'd, yeah, put it over. But I only had my pants. I didn't realise yeah. I only had my pants on, did I? <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like dancing around. <laughs> but it was, it weren't. Yeah, it everyone weren't, else leaves back and you like, about. It's the way it felt and the way it feels, not the way it looks. Yeah. Mm. So, like, I go on camera and go, oh, yeah, it's a good game. You know, like, it weren't like that. It was yeah. like, oh, we loved it. This is, 
yeah. Tottenham mm. qualifying the Champions League. Did he but say anything to you after? Or after it that, just... it looked like I was just messing around and mm. like wanted to, because he dropped me. It was a moment yeah, to um... do him. That's what he did thought. Did he have a chat with you mm. after? Or did he just no, sort of but he, no, out a bit? he won't do that. He's quite quiet, isn't he? No, he just like like bin you off. But <laughs> and that was it. After that, Who oh, honestly, been... after that, that was really? it. Really, but, and that weren't that weren't the way it was. Completely. Did mm. you ever say something? Did you feel like you had to sort of go in and see him or or something and say like, "Yeah, sorry about throwing water well, over you." Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's you know, go. I've I've faced him up. I've done before. I said, mm. "What's all that about?" <laughs> I've been hearing things, and that's you know, <laughs> it's like the mafia, isn't it? <laughs> Look, I'll tell you something. <laughs> But it was, yeah, it went a bit funny that period. So after yeah. that, mm-hmm. it went a bit funny for me. It yeah. went a bit like... A bit odd. Yeah, a bit odd. And I was like, hold up. People are thinking different. And you were on good form then as well, Yeah, yeah, it was like I was sort of... We had a you sort of just underlined you as a joker rather than a player. Like. Yeah, and then it, it got to a bit of a joke. And I was like, it, it wasn't a joke. That's because we just mm. qualified and like, yeah. we're all up for it. You weren't and doing then, it on the pitch. No, and then we qualified and, and did all the sort of night out and like all the celebrating. It was brilliant. It was yeah. quality. Mm. <laughs> we went to Little Italy and had like a great party, went out after. It was brilliant. But who were the big characters at the at top of the minute? We've got Crouchy and Keane. And, yeah, Crouchy Was you there with David? Was there? No. Because Keane and David had a fight, didn't they? David's is. Robbie Keane and David's. Yeah, David's he used to pop up at the training ground now and again. Really? I don't know why. It just used to be like, you know, an old players used to pop that up. Brent in the office. Yeah, yeah that's it. It's fine, sir. I've had some pints. I'll go for a drink with you, Edgar. That's what it was like. Take your glasses off. What's he doing here? I don't know. Yeah. But them boys were. What was Woodgate like? Woodgate's one of my best pals in football. Is he simple? Brilliant. No, what a guy. <laughs> no, he's, he he wasn't, he, he, he wasn't he get banned for it. Was his nickname Village or something? <laughs> it thought, weren't with me, no, no Village. I thought he Come on, I'm going to ring him in a bit. Go all right, Village. <laughs> no, but I thought he oh, got yeah, you get a chat show in, in the future. Yeah, yeah, he's got. Um, Is he simple? I, I think was, he was. I used to call him. Uh, he used to call me Horse. Because <laughs> of me tape. <laughs> oh, I've had that a few times. <laughs> uh, I used to call it. He used to, uh, he used to run like a. You know what they call l- llamas? I used to call him a llama. Have you ever seen a llama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what goat used to run? Yeah. So, like, he'd run with, with his, his body and his legs. Be- <laughs> <laughs> so, he used to be the llama, but. No, no, didn't he look. get his mate to punch him in the head or something? Is that Woodgate? Or is he a bit lively? Yeah, he was, but he was. He was. He was quality. Did you What's text him after his Real Madrid debut, or did you not know him then? No, I didn't know him then. <laughs> I didn't know him then. But uh, I'm still in contact with him now. I went to his wedding, he got married to. Uh, he's married to Stuart Downing's sister. Really? Yeah, and they got married in the Beefer. <laughs> and he told me to turn up. Right, listen to this. I told him, he said, turn up to my wedding. And I went, would he, mate? What do I have to wear? Because it's be for wedding. I thought, just shorts and flip-flops. Yeah. You know, like, and I went, what can I wear? He went, mate, you can wear anything you want. So I did. So I just <laughs> went in, like, trainers. And, like, so I turned up and everyone was dressed like an, you know, like, dressed an like an English <laughs> wedding. Like, like a complete prep. So I had to be there and just, like... <laughs> <laughs> just t-shirts and uh, yeah, and shorts. Yeah, no, everyone's there. Yeah. What was Crouchy? Uh, Crouchy to get on with Crouchy. Yeah, Crouchy was brilliant. He's a lot. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's probably round here now. He's he loves it. Yeah, he really. loves it. Yeah, <laughs> likes it round here. Um, is there anything else, Ian? You want to add? I think with um, any other stories. Um, it kind of went quick. Yeah, yeah that was about, yeah. that was an hour. Was it? Yeah. Oh. Well, no, but next, well, yeah, if you think of any more, write them down and just come yeah. back on again next series. Yeah, well, when Jimmy's here. Yeah. yeah, whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. Doors open. <laughs> and what else you want to plug? Impact Sports, if Impact you're a sport. professional yeah. footballer looking yeah. for. La Sala. La Sala. La Sala. La Sala Chigwell. La Sala Chigwell, you are there? Yeah, La Sala in. Um, what, else? what other ones? In Marbella. La Sala Gibraltar. Um, La Sala Beach. Mahiki Beach. Equ- Equimis Nightclub. Yeah. Uh, if you're in Marbella, yeah, come over. No, and go there, yeah. You uh, must be absolutely GFF, Keiko Baco. Only an hour. He's just wading through reddies <laughs> on the way out. So, <laughs> yeah, I was just leaving him behind. They're like, oh. <laughs> Bentley, you've been brilliant. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, thanks for listening to the series. Hopefully, we'll be back with another one. Um, and uh, yeah, cheers. See you later. Come on, Jimmy. There's Bentley, there's oh, Beckett yeah, and Smithy. Yeah, they must be paying you a few quid and you're still there. Oh, <laughs> this is all getting recorded. Uh, Beckett, right. you've missed me, innit? Oh, Bernard, you part-timer. You've gone showbiz on us. 
listen, I weren't having it today. I've missed the last two and I thought, I feel like I'm not wanted anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, you're wanted, mate. You just don't fucking turn up. Yeah, what's well, going on in set showbiz life, no, no, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. I tell you what, he does it two hours on a Saturday morning. He was getting his hair done. <laughs> <laughs> two hours on a Saturday morning, you do. Listen, you've had your chat. Just let me talk. Right? <laughs> the reason why I didn't turn up today is because you used two swine and Smithy. You've changed it to over in East London. When, whenever have we changed the gig? What's the script? What? I'll tell you why we've changed the gig. Because you've gone all big time because you've been on Johnny Rush for the second time. <laughs> Third time. Third time. <laughs> Third time. <laughs> No, you, we, the reason it don't work because you go fishing on a Wednesday, that sad old bastard. Fucking noise, Beckett. Noise. Anyway, Smithy, how are you, son? <laughs> yeah, I'm alright, thanks. Are you still keeping it together, son? Yeah, I'm alright. I haven't been having a break down, huh? No, I've been having a break down, you know. But anyway, Ben, what have you been telling them, son? No, yeah, I've been telling them all sorts, mate, about our wrestling in the bed. <laughs> Oh, you you coming in my room with a wrestle, son? I was a boy, though, weren't I? Like, when I oh, mate, I'm unbelievable. I loved every minute of you. Did you tell him when you bought the McDonald's in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah unbelievable, wasn't it? He didn't have... Hey, oh, remember that? That shitty food with no tomato no. ketchup. I'm That's not having this. I'm not having this. Let's get the McDonald's in. You got, got security each end of the room. He put his head out, so he went, here. No worries, boy. The guys have come through, brought in about four Big Macs. <laughs> remember that? We paid for security, didn't we? We paid them all. <laughs> paid them all. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So. Have you got any more Bentley stories, Jim? Um, I think I've told them all on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've, I've, How are uh, you? How's Soccer I am? Yeah, really good. Really good. Um, I've been with them all day. That is the main reason why I could make it, as well as like not happy with the location. <laughs> but... I'll, I'll, I'll visit. And they pay a lot more than Dave, so um, <laughs> <laughs> got to weigh up. You know what I'm saying? I'm still part of the firm, though, right? Yeah, but yeah, just yeah. drop out fishing on a Wednesday, Jim. I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is this right. Let me tell you, so just a quick one. Yep. And and for the listeners as well, the reason why I do fishing is so I stay like sane and keep me head right. If I don't go fishing on a Wednesday, I'd be a cannon. <laughs> Fair enough. So, Jim, I think. You it's just know been what I mean. You out. need to have your, like, your days off and do what you want, otherwise you end up in the mental institute, probably. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. No, Jim, yeah, it's no, only because we've both been busy, but... In the new year, we'll get Bentley back on when you're here. He'll have a little list of m- new stories, yes. and then we'll do it properly. But I'll, I'm, it's just a That's busy if you schedule. Want to be here, Rob, because I'm eyeing up another comment. It was a bit funnier. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, it's one that can only do Thursdays <laughs> afternoons in Hammersmith. I've got to say, I'm struggling at the minute, so you're still in. <laughs> oh, cheers, Jim. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Jim. Johnny Ross is interested for the second time. Third time <laughs> I've done Johnny Ross, actually. Johnny Ross twice. What's that all about? Three times, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> what, the I've done the trick on Jono. <laughs> I can't wait till I'm on there. Go on then. Was he that good? Are we going to be back on again? Definitely. Oh, Jim, anything you want to say to the listeners? Keep coming up and... Look, whoever comes up to me in a bar and says I listen to the sponge, they always buy him a drink. I think it's lovely, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you're saying that you drink whoever someone. comes up to you and asks for a drink, you'll buy him one? No, no, no. Not just come up to me. <laughs> yeah, no, you will, of course. Well, I tell you what, give him a code yeah, word then, Jim. I even quiz it our listeners now, and I say, right, okay, tell me, like, a bench story, and they won't be able to find something. Yeah, okay, so if, if yeah. what about, so they've got to tell you, if they want a free drink off you at a bar... Code. They've got code, so they need to come up with their three favourite stories from the podcast. Yeah, but you know, you know straight away, if you listen to a sponge listener, surely you've had it. But on a train, they go, oh, Jim, what about... And they get, that's a proper listener, isn't it? Yeah. They, up your bang they've now give a few stories before I've even asked them okay yeah. so if you're a proper fan yeah. you'll get your bar a, a single yeah. 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 Jimmy would be running he won't go out ever again will he <laughs> 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 don't work like that <laughs> <laughs> what else are you up to Jim apart from Soccer Ave anything else coming up I've got a new one I've got a, we've got Bridge I'm with uh, Bridgie now Wayne Bridge, yeah. and we've got Bridgie coming on, telling some of his story. If you don't know it yet, I've just, I've just told him. All right. All coming on. We're going to drag Bridgie down, and um, we're going to bring him on the sponge. For all you listeners, new one coming. Bridgie, cheers, Bridgie. <laughs> are you at the pub with Wayne Bridge? No, well, what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> Can Wayne Bridge say hello? Yeah, stick, stick yeah, Wayne Bridge on. guests. Hello, hello, hello. 
Am I right? Am I right? Okay. <laughs> what time did you finish filming, Fridge? What time did you start drinking? <laughs> What time have you stopped about two? <laughs> That's <laughs> it! Go on, boys! It was three o'clock. It was three o'clock. It's steaming there, isn't it? I've been there for the missus. I'm still stuck here with him. <laughs> <laughs> Is he behaving? He, he reckons he's just seen Murphy from Brighton turn up. Is that his name? Who's Glenn Murray? Glenn Murray. You know, Murray. Murray, not Murphy. <laughs> Come on the podcast, Wayne. Yeah, I'll get him at some stage, yeah. Wicked. No, but on a serious note, I know I've phoned up for a bit of banner, but I have missed you, all right? Miss you too, Jim. Yeah, miss you. We all miss you. I'm definitely, I'm definitely on the next one. Yeah, yeah cool. All right, mate. See, See you later, later. Jimmy, boy. See you later, mate. Hey, Jimmy. Ben, any chance for a drink soon or what? Oh, cool. I'm scared of you, isn't I? I don't know. I won't go home for a few days, you know. He only goes out in Amazon. Oh, mate, get him in together. He's worse than me. Oh, mate. It's like life over, isn't it? Self destruct, mate. Love you. See you later, Jim. See you later. Bye. Bye 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 bye. The Magic Sponge is a dot 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 production for Dave, hosted by Rob Beckett, Jimmy Billard, and Ian Smith.